This episode is brought to you by Brewy, a coffee that nourishes your mind and body. Brewy is an organic coffee blend loaded with six adaptogenic mushrooms, so you can enjoy the benefits of superfoods while being fueled in your day-to-day life. To receive your Brewy discount code, tag a friend in this episode's coming soon post. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the UR Pod. Usage rate, no bads today. Derry's back. He's back. And he's roaring. He's, he's, he's not going too bad at the Supercoach. Yeah, for a bloke it, that doesn't give a shit about it. Yeah, for a bloke that really, um, if he had a gave a shit about it, um, he might have won a car, but now I'm struggling. <laughs> so where are you sitting? After three rounds, uh, my rank is uh, 61st overall and 7th in Tasmania. Scored 397 this week. But my team was pretty much all Sydney. Like, I had Adams. And the winner is Sydney. (laughs) Yes, I had Valentine and Galloway. Yep. I had Tui on the bench. Yep. And I had Adams. Yeah, right. So, um, and they've got a pretty tough schedule coming up. So, yeah, that's right. So, I've had to, I've had to, um, before we get into that, I've had to do some Sydney trades this week. Pretty yeah. much. How many boosts have you used so far? Oh, this is my second boost I've used. Okay. This week, not bad. Um, only I regret using my boost last week because yep. to fill you in on my team because you haven't heard from me in a while. But that's been a while. I brought yeah. I brought in I brought in Mitch Norton because he had two games and I thought that he may be able to I don't know score fifteen on mm. he was always going to be on my bench but I thought he would be able to score fifteen odd points through the, during the round get a few boards and whatever. Yeah. He turned the ball over so yes. fucking much mm. in limited minutes. Mm. That's what killed me. Yeah, that really killed me. Turnovers do kill you, especially as a backup guard. If you're turned over, you you're on the bench. And yeah, it was it was nasty. It wasn't nice. Um, but my big winner of the last week was Tyrell Harrison. Yeah, I did like that trade when you messaged that one through to me. Yeah. I'm a massive fan of Tyrell Harrison. I wish he, we got him at the JJ's, but uh, with yeah, no Bainsy, he was, he was good. great. Yeah, Bainsy, he still had, eat a bag. <laughs> he had a meltdown. Oh, <laughs> mate, I'm still angry about it. It's it's fucked me again. I really think I really don't think you were as angry as him though. Are you sure? <laughs> he was pretty fucked. Did you see him shove the coach? Yeah, yeah. He nearly went through that wall. <laughs> yes, he did. Yes. Um, now, I had a shocker. I had 312 and I'll bug it up at another captain's pick this week. So I went, I bought him Valentine two weeks ago, captain. Shit ass. Yep. Robinson this week, captain. Shit ass. I, I was so angry at half time when he had five turnovers in the first game. Then half time in the second game, he had it was 0 for 7. But yeah, the good but what, thing was a lot of people brought him in and a lot of people captained him. But wasn't enough to stop him dropping. a lot of people bring him in, I laughed. Did you? Don't rate him. Don't. Yeah. Mm. Not so once I liked him in the blitz in the game that he played last year. And he had 40-odd the week before. But Killer Warrior just a shit franchise. Don't touch him. Like Adelaide. Although I nearly brought Trey Kill in this week. Hmm. So I dropped 996 spots last this week. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting at 1,314. But I think my team's somewhat set up for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, you set up really, you, you set up really, really well. Um, yeah. See, so, I, I made percentage plays in terms of guys that were projected to make money, and they didn't make money. So that's hurt me. But anyway, we'll bounce back. I'm um, playing the long game. It's so. 20, 20 rounds. Look, yeah. by the end of round 20... My 61st position will well and truly be forgotten about. Yeah, well, what do I need to catch up? Like 10 points a week, 12 points a week for the rest of the season. I'm already checking, actually, what Mitsubishi ASXs are like on fuel because I'm winning it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're looking good. I can't wait for you to burn through your boost while round seven. Yeah, no, that's going to be the trouble. That's Can you pay for extra boost? No. <laughs> Imagine that. I'll pay 20 grand in boosts. And, and save 10 grand of the cut. 
<laughs> All right. So what's your biggest takeaway for the round, mate? Ah, Supercoach was. Yes. Or uh, just Supercoach, NBL. NBL, uh, Sydney, Tasmania, and Sydney, Tasmania, and uh, Melbourne in yep. the three-way race for the championship, I think. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely right now the three best teams in the competition. Yeah. Without seeing much of New Zealand and then without seeing much of Cairns, I don't think Cairns will be any good. They're just injured mm. severely. Yeah, which could hurt them. They're, like, they've played five games. Well, no, they haven't they've only played three games so far, but though they've got some doubles coming up pretty quickly. So they could they could find themselves down the bottom. Yeah. Pretty Definitely, quickly. Yeah. Um and there's no one that really interests me that much in fantasy except Patrick Miller. Yeah. Paddy Miller, the killer. He's fucking good. He's he's so ripped, isn't he? Oh, he's huge. Not as ripped as Matthew Yang from the Breakers. Mangok. He, <laughs> yeah, he's yep. locked up. Yeah. Um, what'd you make of Perth? Pretty ordinary this yeah, week. Yeah, geez, Cotton. He, I hate the commentators with Cotton because they he, love him. He makes his first shot. Yeah, he's on. He's on. Yeah, and then he shot ten, and he's three of ten. Mm. And they every shot they say you can't give him that look, mm. but he he's often three for ten. Mm. You know what I mean? Like in the last couple of seasons, I reckon he's got a lot of pressure on him. I this one I didn't pick him to make the six, Perth, but I did have I did have Illawarra there. So yeah, they're not going to be there. Southeast Melbourne are worrying me. No, they'll be right. They've been severely injured, and they're two and three. So. I think they'll be okay. Yeah, Mitch Craig's into the fantasy this week. Mm, I'm looking to bring him in too, but we'll talk about trades a little bit later on. Uh, my round takeaway is Jonah Bolden's back. Oh, he's, he's incredible. Didn't take him long, did it? It's crazy how Sydney have got that bench that they've got. Oh, yeah, it's you, ludicrous. Hogg hasn't even played yet. No. Nah. So what's going to happen when he comes back? We're still looking... Who he will be in... traded. Yeah. He looks like he's not too far away, two, three weeks, and they've obviously they've got the single games coming up. So um you're probably looking to hold Galloway in through until he's back and to it. Galloway, yeah, hundred percent. Those two will, will stay. Yep. Yep. Uh who's your hero for the week? Who was from your team? Who carried you? Uh there was a lot actually. Um oh, Roto, Mr. So this week, what, what are you? 61? No, this week was good. This week, there was a few that I could choose from. Um, I captained Galloway, which was looking good until the second half of his second game. Yeah, but, that was a bold choice. Yeah, but, but um, as far as you do, as far as the captain choice of Galloway, it was still a good one because it wasn't, not a lot of people did it. So when he was scoring, I was getting his doubles. Yes. So, and not a lot of people were. So yeah. that helped me in the way of it was a bit rare. I'll probably, if, Overall score, if I went Adams, I probably would have near won the round. Yeah. But um, my hero was still Tyrell Harrison. Yeah. Yeah, like it. Hey. So what did what did he end up scoring? He scored 41 for the round. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Really good. As, yeah. as he, he was my actually my bench centre. And Saar scored 45. But Yeah. Um, did I, you start Saar? I'd start Saar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like it. Uh, I had Galloway as well. Um, my team did not have a lot of shining lights this week, unfortunately, hence the 312. Um, I had two players on my bench who scored the same or more than my captain. So you, you didn't start Sar looking at it there? No, I didn't. No. See, so I play Sar at the centre. Mm. Oh no, I can't use bench. Didn't click the the full reverse. So <laughs> Valentine Galloway, Pat Porty, Robinson, and Travers, which realistically doesn't look like that bad of a lot. But Robinson and Cummins, yes. he sucked. Yeah, so. but he was on the bench, and I only really had him for the double next week. Okay, and and for that cash that he was going to make me over the last couple of weeks, so I wasn't too upset with him. Um, Gary Brown took over, um, and looking. Potentially the source return this week, and Cummings has played with him in the past, so I think he um, he will work well to integrate him back in. So he shouldn't be too bad this week. Cummings, uh, your brick boy, brick boy was um, it's hard. It's kind of hard. It's it's kind of a harsh call 
Well, you have to be asked when you score in as much as you. Um, but well, Mitch Norton for yeah for, for me, but Ben Ben Hensel or Henshaw Henshaw yeah needs to start doing a little bit more. John really, hey? John really sucks as a coach. I reckon he needs more shots. He's yeah. probably the best shooter on the team. Yeah, he'd be one off. Yeah, he can. He scored twenty nine points in one game. Yeah, and yeah. hasn't really seen a look since. I know Ty Webster's been good over the years, but I think Henshaw mm-hmm. needs to take some of those minutes. Not good this year. No, no, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, I, I prefaced it with that because I don't want to disrespect him because he's a multiple time NBL championship winner. Um, but yeah, I think he's probably a little bit past it. Um, Doesn't give him anything. No, no. And him coming back from the injuries really hurt Henshaw. But anyway, um, I had Robinson, obviously. He, yeah, just those two first halves absolutely demoralised me. I was... Turnovers kill you in this game. Yeah, I was up and about after the second half. I was really um, hanging out for the game against Adelaide because he was he was only on two points at half time in the first game against the Jackies. And then he rocked out 20 points in the second half. So I was pretty confident he'd, he'd get me 30 to 35 in that second game against Adelaide. Um, and he didn't. He had 18. So half of what I expected him to get in that game. So all of a sudden you're looking at an extra 30 points on my score, which would be pretty bloody handy. Yeah, I mean, the, that's and that's the thing with these with these double ups. Like obviously you're gonna you're gonna captain one of them, but mm. it's it's so hard to get it right. And it's so vital to get it right. Like, I've fucked it up two weeks in a row, and it's cost me about 80 points. Like, I didn't get it right this week, but my whole team was great. Yes. Overall, like, my team my team yeah. performed. Yeah. And this week... Well, Galloway was the 11th highest scorer. And realistically, no one was... Well, very few people, Captain Jordan Crawford, Jonah Bowden, Shannon Scott. I actually looked at training. Fuck, did not start with Jonah Bowden's cop. This cost a lot of people. Been killing yeah. myself. Yeah, Gary Clark, not many people to captain him. Do, do anyone. Golding. So you're probably looking at a top five captain of what yeah. most people had. So and not... only 158 owned mm. him as the captain. So yeah. Like... yeah. Yeah. Who are you going to keep an eye on this week? As far as like... for future trading plans. See, this I know is... you don't look too far. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the thing. I don't. <laughs> so like it's a it's a hard, it's a really hard thing for me to say because this is the type of, type of area I just don't. Mm. Don't look into it. But now that I'm 61st, I'm starting to. Yes. And the reason is I'm, I'm going to hold for, for their schedule. I'm going to hold Milton Doyle for that reason. I've traded out Adams this week because of his set the schedule. Yeah, so you have it, to make the choice. Yeah, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to look pretty closely at Trenton Flowers over there two games this week. So um, Are you bringing him in? I'm not bringing him in, no. Um, I just I don't, don't think he does that consistently. No, I don't want to use another boost. I've used one. Um, I don't want to use another one yet. Um, I think I'm somewhat set up for the next three to four rounds. Um, and then I probably won't need to use another one for a little while unless I've got an injury. So they've got um, South East Melbourne, which have given up a hell of a lot of points against guards, and then Perth as well. Um, so... Um, but in that in that game where he scored twenty, he wasn't didn't have the ball in his hands that much. No, he was more played off ball. Yeah, yeah. Jeezy looked good in that though. He did, and that's I just don't know if he's that consistent of a jump shooter. That's my only worry with him. So I quite like his mechanics. I think, I, I think oh, he looked as looks good, good yeah. but like he was hot. Yeah. Is he going to be that hot off that volume every single week? Yeah, so they've, they're at home for both their games this week, which could potentially help him. Um, have a great atmosphere in Adelaide, though. No, only when they're doing it wrong, yeah. which they haven't been. Um, but if we're looking at... So we'll probably classify him. He's listed as a guard, but he's playing as a forward. He should be have the dual status. That's yeah. really annoying. People yeah. just wake up, bet you... Yes, it's fucking annoying. You me. know the other one that's annoying me is Drake Hill. He should be a forward. If he was listed as guard forward, I would be bringing him in this week. I reckon. See, so it was between him and Goulding for me, but Goulding being a little bit lower price, and yeah. I think he has, with no Delhi, has the chance to score fifty points over the week. Yeah, well, their offense is going to have to come from somewhere, isn't it? And that's probably not going to be 
Ian Clark, and it's probably not going to be Shay Ely. So, if you could get a point for flopping, Goulding would be the number one scorer in the comp. Who'd get more points, him for flopping or Valentine for falling? In that, in that second game, yeah. I reckon he hit the floor, Valentine, fifteen times in the first half. Yeah, comfortably. <laughs> He could not stand up. He looked like he, me on the ice skating rink at Coffs Harbour at the big banana. He, he looked like me coming off the train in Darwin. <laughs> what did you say? He had 300 standard drinks in the seven days. Like, <laughs> astronomical. Um, so you're looking at bringing in Golding this week, and who else? I, I reversed and changed my trades about 10 times this week. Like, I like, like that we can do that and play around with the numbers. Yeah, like I said... Because, like, I don't pre-prepare my team. Mm. Like, I couldn't tell you who's playing who next week. I just do not right, We'll care. go through and we'll do our tips later, and that might make you really I've done my tips that. this week. Yeah. Yeah. I actually don't know. But I've brought, I've brought, brought at this stage, I've brought Goulding Creek, and I've used the boost and brought Huck Porty in as well. Goulding Creek and Huck Porty. Mm-hmm. Four. I've traded out Adams. I've traded out... Alex Saar kept Tyrell Harrison. It was similar break-even, similar price. And yeah. Tyrell Harrison's got a big couple of weeks coming up. Yeah, they've got they've got a pretty good schedule, Brisbane, don't they? Yes. So I've made that choice, and yep. I've also got rid of Denzel Valentine, which was always my plan this week anyway. So Valentine, Saar, and Adams mm-hmm. for Golding, Creek, and Huck Boy. And Huck Boy. Yep. Yep. Um doesn't sound great on paper. Sounds really bad, but I still keep Tui. I still yep. keep Galloway. Yep. I still keep Harrison. Mm-hmm. I've got these guys making a bit of cash. That's yep. the important part. Yeah. So that's that's probably the area that I've gone wrong. I've chased I've chased cash from guys who are going to score points that have been on my court and they've done me a solid one. Um whereas you've gone the cash on the bench. Yes. Which I like, so that's not going to hurt you as much. I like the cash on the bench because you still get half their points. Yes, they're not completely useless. No. So, like, if you if you're averaging ten on your bench, it really really helps if you've got good starters. Yeah, that's why I think I've been successful with mm. that. Yeah. Yeah, because you've scored, had you've had those good starters yeah, and good so we captains. scored forty two this week, yeah. so we got to be twenty one. Yeah. Like, which is so handy. Which is better than some people's starters. And same with Harrison. Yeah. He got 20. Yeah. On the pine. Yeah. So, like, it's... Yeah. I think it's not deliberate, my approach. It's just how it's happened. Mm. Whereas I had Oldbridge, who you traded out last week, who ended up getting me eight, and Ben Eyre ended up getting me six or whatever. So... Yeah. Well, look, I just... stuck. Oh, There's 20 I, points. Yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so I'm trading out my past two captains, and they'll bloody dominate both of them this week. I'll bet you. Yeah, you've had you've been unlucky. I've made percentage plays on paper. They've been great plays, but really, I don't. Yeah, but basketball's not a percentage game. No, you know what else is not a percentage game? Long balls. I'll give you that tip. <laughs> you should have seen me get staffed in last year. I was. I thought the big circle went. Oh, you couldn't get the you couldn't get the bias right. Yeah, I had to go on the wrong way. Yeah, but that's when you get when we went we went and actually played lawn bowls in after the sun we found ourselves at a bowls club on Sunday. The same one that I went to on Mitz Bucks actually after a, after <laughs> the grand final. Yeah, yep. And they you couldn't tell. You honestly could not tell when you when your eyes can't see properly. You don't know what's a small circle, what's a big circle. Yeah, lack of sleep. So like mm. it was, but they didn't have a circle. Like oh, were, it was they were just it's faded, real, real, real high level sort of. No, it was no low level because they've been used so much. So that yeah, faded. Yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, yep, yep. So I'm going Valentine and Robinson out, and Creek and Parker Jackson cut right in, um, and that's sort of to future proof my team. So I'm and only the cash. Yeah, and the cash. Yep, which has not been a smart play by me this time, but. Can you die the same way three times in a row? I don't well, know. Percentage plays. Picture this. <laughs> McDowell White plays. Yep. Starts. Yep. Jackson Cartwright comes on. Mm. Does me coming out to shower this morning. I've got a very sore hamstring. <laughs> because I did the splits. <laughs> <laughs> Far out. 
And oh, that's what that's how your season's going. Yes. Yeah. Um, but uh, so I'm only looking at probably running for um, double game players this week on court, but then I'll have Ben out on the bench who's going to play too. So um, it's a bit of give and take there, I guess. And it'll, it'll it'll set me up not to have to use a boost in the next three weeks. See, I've got which is nice. I've got four as well. Three of them are Melbourne's. So that's good. Yeah. Yep. And um then but two of them are Brisbane who play two next week. Yeah, so you're actually not going to be looking too bad. No, I'm those looking, Sydney guys are good trades by you. I'm looking very good. Yeah. This has started the strategy now. Mm. And it helps being 61st. Yes. Absolutely. Um big call for the week. What's your big prediction for this week? I'll be top 20. Like no! <laughs> That is Nat. <laughs> no, no, uh, that's that was a joke. Um, it's probably it's probably not a joke though. Um, <laughs> big call for the round. Jackie's beat Sydney in Sydney. Jeez, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, to put them back in their box for a little bit longer? I just think we played too defensive for it. I think they like it mm. a bit pretty Sydney. Yeah, because we, I, I, I think they do. Mm. So that'll be nice. That'll even us up with them and our percentage is the same. So we should move ahead of them if we beat them. We will move ahead of them if we beat them. Um, my big call for the week is Jacob Wiley will score at least 55 points. So I've looked at him. He's earned him a team yeah. about four times today. Yeah. yeah. So you're not bringing him in, though? No, I'm not because they've got a, they've got the double this week and then three singles. So yeah, Adelaide that's my, play. No, yeah, that's Adelaide's... my reasoning for that. Yeah. Um. But if you could play, what if you could play Trey Curls forward? I'd probably bring him in. Yeah. Um, I'd probably bring, this is what I would do if I could have done that. I would have gone Valentine to Craig. Yeah. No, I would have gone Valentine to Kel and I would have gone um, Henshaw to pa- Parker Jackson Carroll. You must have some cash. Yeah, 219000 because of fucking Bainesy. <laughs> He was angry. So I went him to Albridge last week and saved me a heap of money, and he nearly scored as many as Baines did the week before. So, yeah, that that Baines plays absolutely killed me. But anyway, we'll be back. It's a long season, it's only three of 20 rounds. So, yeah. So um, let's jump on to a few questions. We don't have too many this week, but... If anyone's got them through the week, send them through. Um, is Shea Ely a viable option for next week with Delhi most likely sideline with concussion? Before you answer that, um, it looks like upon review, Delhi's going to be out for the 12 day concussion protocol, which means that he, he's, he will miss three to four games for Melbourne. So you're looking at, those Melbourne guys to trade in and not going to be a bad option when they've got a double and a double. But no, Shaley's not the option. Shaley's not the answer. So another question on that. Will Ian Clark benefit from Delhi being out? He will. Yeah. Shoot more shots. So it? so let's rank them. Illy, Clark, Golding. Golding's one. Yep. Golding will be taking 15 to 15 mm. shots a game. Yep. He makes seven of them. Five of them will be threes. You yep. will probably get to the line once or twice out of bullshit <laughs> yeah. bailouts. I th- so, I think he will average 25 over the next four games. So he scored 26 super coach on the weekend. That's points, not super coach points. That's just general points. No, super coach points. Yeah. But you're talking po- points. He'll average 25 yeah. points. Yeah. He had 18 points on the weekend. I'm just looking at this because Delhi only played the 13 minutes. So it could potentially be a bit of a gauge. So 26 super coach points, 18 scoring points and put up 11 shots which was the most of anyone for melbourne he was hot though yeah well. so he shot well, he actually only shot six for 11 he shot five for 10 from three he was about five from seven or five from eight at one stage yeah and he only went one for three from the foul line that was in one that was in one go too mm. he only made one for three yeah so you're thinking that that super coach points goes up to 30 yes I do. If you take those minutes from Delhi, I just think that Goulding... And you're probably taking some of those shots from... Oh, Delhi only had two shots. 
Ely just doesn't look to score the ball that much. No, he had he, 14 points, eight assists on the weekend. He could, so, he, when he, with his positioning and how he is able to get himself to it about the block, he could easily mm. shoot a lot more floaters. Yeah. He's the best at splitting the pick oh, defense. That's what I mean. As soon as he get, as soon as he, he can get to that spot, mm. but then he stops. Yeah. He looks for the pass. Yeah. But maybe now that Delhi's not, I don't know. Does yeah? Do those assists? So he had scored Golding by six last week. I'm I'm with you though. I think Golding's the play over Illy. I don't know what their pricing's. Well, Golding's two hundred forty three thousand. Okay, so he's two forty three. Let's have a look. The thing the, look the thing with Golding is he's two forty nine. Golding. Yeah. And Illy's two thirteen. Hmm. Depends if you need the money. I'm going. I'm going go, Golding, though. I'm going Golding, yeah. Yeah. Um, Shady Lee with the ball in his hand may turn the ball over a little bit more. Turn yeah. a very, and that's the thing. Golding doesn't pass it that much. No, you don't really have shoots, to worry about turnovers with him. No. No. So they've got they got Illawarra in New Zealand, which are dark green and light green. So two pretty easy teams for guards to score against. I don't think there's probably a bad option out of the two of them, though. But we're both going golding, so not sit on the fence. Um, who will Alan Williams coming back affect the most of the Phoenix players for better or for worse? So who's Alan Williams going to impact in a positive way for South East Melbourne? Mitch Creek. Yeah. A lot more space now out there for mm-hmm. Mitch. Yeah. Well, he's, he's, he's been playing the five for him. Jeez, that's, that is not his skill set. Wow. Gets um, away with the most fouls in the NBL. Yeah, he did say that. Um, Very dirty. Hmm. I think it'll impact Will Cummings in a positive way, um, but they've only got the double and then some singles. So um, I don't think well, making a does play. Does that make sure the cook's but, done? Tyler Cook? Yeah, Tyler Cook's done. Yeah. 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 If. Um, I mean, that's if Williams returns this week, which they're talking he potentially could. I'm hoping he comes back limited minutes so I can pick him up a little bit later on. But they've they've already played a few of their doubles for the season already. So no South East guys, after this week, you've got to be looking to get off them. Yeah, I'll be trading Creek. He's in for one week. Yeah. Yeah. And then Nathan Sobey. So what did you what did you say Golding's gonna score this week? Well, I'm hoping about sixty. So if he's scoring 60, and if I'm looking to bring in Mitch Craig, who's projected to score 61, do I just bring Golding in so I don't have to trade Craig out the week after? Look, I'm, this is... No, I need I need a captain. I need a solid captain that's going to be safe. Well, Craig's going to score a safe. Well, 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 my captain this week is not Craig, even though I own Craig. Mm. That's half 40. Because mm. he's playing two games, so he's going to get 20 rebounds at least. Yeah. And those double double points. Yeah. So Illawarra, yellow, and New Zealand's orange. Oh, he's eating Sam Prowley. <laughs> yeah, he will. He is. Yes. Yeah. How about mango? What? Is he gonna eat mango? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. He's so, he's so good, isn't he? It's unfair how good Sydney's and because, backup centers and because are they're going so to. good at, at spacing their floor, there's so many times where he just has an open paint that is pass it to him and he dunks it. I've seen it like five times during the weekend. Oh, yeah, and Shaley gets into that. Yeah, that little hole. Uh, we did have another one there, but I've, I've jumped off it now. So, um, how many, how many, what, how many points do you think people can be away to realistically win the car at this stage? I'm 120 off the lead, and I'm sitting at 1,300. Can you get the calculator up? Because I've actually wanted to yeah. work this out. Yep. So, one, two, two, three. Yep. Is what's winning at the moment. Yep. And I'm on one, one, four, five. You're 78 points behind. So you're. I'm only 52 points in front of you. Yeah. Or 42 points. Yeah, in front and you're of you. a thousand spots in front of me. What's just, There's a lot of people in between. It's just the it's madness, isn't it? Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Like this week, we'll we'll but if you, if you, I go and look at you, go and look at all the people above me because I've literally done it. Mm. They're in a very similar boat. They're Sydney heavy. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I looked at that. I look. I quite often look through some of those top teams and see what they're sort of doing. Um, you see my name. 
That must boil your piss. It does absolutely <laughs> boil my piss. So, so how who are you looking at? This is another question. Who are we thinking in terms of bringing Cairns players in? Because round eight through to round thirteen, also oh, round five through to round thirteen, they've got all doubles except for round seven when everyone plays one. Your team may, may as well just be all cans. Yeah, so how are you doing that? But Patrick Miller? Patrick, he will be, yes. He'll be in, yes. Taron Armstrong when he comes back? Yes. But Bobby Clintman? No. Can't believe I'll trade him out. No. For Baines. Uh, McCall? If he's healthy. Gak? No. Mayan? No. Well. The, the, Wardenberg, the, the, Meninga. Things with the thing is with Cairns, they're not going to be a good side, and fucking good side. They're not going to be a good side. <laughs> so fucking shit side. It's hard because, I, besides Miller, I think somewhat you're probably better off playing single guys like Adams. Mm. You know, like yeah. they're, they're not jumping out of here. Mm. Oh, yeah. I think I'm probably going to If go Alfred there. Payton comes to play for him, I'll get him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he will get triple double. Um, I'm probably, I'm looking at Miller and Clintman. I've got Clintman's it. efficiency is just gone. Yeah. He didn't do very well in those NBA games. No, he didn't. Parra Karen did, though, in that one that he played. Yeah, he was good, actually. He was real good. Um. Who who should people be listening to? Me, you, or Baz? Baz is number three, I reckon. I think you, Husey, because for, for for me, I know damn well I won't be the tie when it's all said and done. I think you will get get me because I don't have a formula. Mm. I don't have any type of. I don't look at what's in the future. Yeah, I, right. I'll look there, and that's what's going to hurt me the most in one round because I'll run out of boosts. Mm. <laughs> I won't have to use a boost next week or the next couple of weeks. Yeah, but I will run out of boosts. Mm. And as I'm holding them, yeah, being patient. Uh, Justin Tyler Cook has loved playing in Australia and would absolutely listen to offers from other NBL teams. Adelaide. Come on. And who's going? They don't have, they're missing an import. Well, there you go. Simple. Done. If they get Vasilovic and Cook. It's good for those teams that have played Adelaide already. Why does Vasilovic want to come back? Because he had an Exhibit 10 contract. um, And then majority of the time, that means G League for the rest of that year. And his belief is that he would rather be in Australia and the NBL is as good as the G League. Better. Mm. Which is... Which is fair. Yeah. Um, He'd be probably earning similar coin. Yeah. Probably. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, well, I'm going you because you're, you're ranked 62nd, mate. So, first, 61st. 61st. Sorry, I've robbed your place. Um, if anyone's got any questions, send them to Derry. <laughs> so, someone, someone agrees with me to give them to you. Um, Who said that? You did. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Uh, we'll quickly go through the tips for the week. Uh, so home team first, Adelaide, South East Melbourne. I'll tip South East Melbourne. Same. Illawarra, Melbourne. I'll tip Melbourne. Same. South East Melbourne, Brisbane. I tipped South East Melbourne. Same. She's just boring, isn't it? Well, South East are going to win it, so I'll have to tip them. Going to have to start winning some games. Yeah. Uh, well, they did that against the uh, fancy Jackies. Adelaide, Perth. To Perth. Same. Melbourne, New Zealand. It's Melbourne. I'm going to go New Zealand. Melbourne's. Oh, they've only got to go from, yeah, short road trip. But I'm going New Zealand just just because. Fresh. Will McDowell White and no Delhi. And I need Parker Jackson Carr. I'll do something. Sydney, Tasmania. Tasmania. I'm going to go Sydney. I tip Tasmania just reluctantly. Mm. And like every, every when I did footy tipping, I tip Brisbane every single week. Even when we'll finish the last, it's who I go for. Yeah. And if you're tipping against them, you're a bad fan. 
I'm a bad fan. There's only six games this week. That's a kick in the dick, isn't it? It's going to be a low-scoring round. Yeah, and I'm still going to score. I'm going to get my second highest score of the year this week. What, 297? I haven't dropped under 300 yet. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> I might I might drop under 300 this week. My team's not great. But so who are you looking at? Give it to give us give us your five. Well, my starting fives: Creek, Travis, Hope Porty with the captain, mm-hmm. Goulding, and Doyle. Yeah, and then I've got Galloway, Tui, and Harrison on the bench, which will give me thirty points, I reckon. Yep. And then <laughs> Norton and Hansel will give me three. Yeah, and I've got Craig, Travis, Huck Porty. Cummings, Parker Jackson, Carwright. And then on the bench, I've got Air. Jeez, who, who am I going to have in there? Because I've reset my team. It's confused me a little bit, but Saar, Henshaw, Ulbrich, Air. You're keeping Ulbrich? Yep. He's not showing me much. No, nah, neither, but I don't want to use my boost. So he's one that you kind of wish you didn't have on your squad, but he's there. Yeah. The thing is with these younger guys, they're all going to have games where they show out. Yes. They are. Like we've seen it with Flowers last week. You know what I mean? Yeah. And we've seen it with Hentel already before. He's yep. got 29. So, yep. like, they're going to have games. So, Oldbridge maybe is coming up. So, I think I'll probably trade him next week, though. Yeah, well, I'll be trading. I'll be trading Creek next week. Yeah, so I'll probably go Creek and... Uh, but I'm going to have to go Cummings as well. And I'll yeah. probably, and the thing is, I'll probably trade Gouldy next week. Yeah. Because... Oh, we'll, we'll lock our trades in Thursday and we'll get them out yeah. for people. But uh, if you have any questions through the week, shoot them through and we'll we'll get them answered for you. And, and good luck for what's going to be a very tough round. It's going to sort the men from the boys, I reckon. Yes. I'll be back down the pecking order, I think, unfortunately. And I'll be back in the top 500 this week. Thanks, everyone.